Christmas in the Valley. This is um, Patty Kennedy and I'm the program coordinator over at the Heritage Farm. If you know anything about Spring Valley though, you will realize that we are not at the Heritage Farm today. Um, and it is a little different from our normal Christmas. Um, we actually modified it this year because of some strange weather conditions happening at the end of November. <laughs> Everybody knows what that is. Okay, so anyway, but we have modified it, but we still have some of the best things that we do for Christmas in the Valley, and let's go around and see them. So I'm here right now with one of our patrons. Um, one of the best things about us moving it here is that you get to play with all the cool stuff that's all around. Um, what brought you out today? How did you find out about us? Christmas in the Valley, we came last year and um, the girls had a great time outside, but inside it's even better. It's nice and warm, so. <laughs> that's true, right? Yeah. I see that you may have gotten some of the marshmallows outside, is that right? Did you eat one? Yep. <laughs> was it fun? Yeah. Do you like Minnie? Do you like Minnie Mouse Elf? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming You're out. Welcome. We really appreciate it. Thanks. So I'm here today with Anna and Michaela and their family, uh, and um, just want to see what came, what brought you out here today, um, that sort of stuff. Sure. We came here for Christmas in the Valley. We were at Christmas in the Valley last year. We had a great time out at the farm. Um, even though it's kind of wet and cold today, we still came out here indoors and are having a great time with our candy canes. Very fun. And you have a very festive shirt on today. What's your shirt? What's it all about? Do you have what's on there? Kittens and what else? What are they wearing? Oh, is that reindeers? Oh my gosh, how much fun is that? They're yeah. Oh, that's very cute. Very festive. Have you seen um, St. Nick yet? Have you seen Father Christmas yet? Santa Claus? Yeah. <laughs> he goes by many names. Um, well, thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming out here today. And we and will. Santa. You call him Santa? He'll answer to that, I'm sure. Sitting here with the man himself and just want to ask you a few fun questions about Christmas. Um, <laughs> wonderful. So what brings you out here today? Uh, we're out here today at the uh, Christmas on a farm and uh, come here every year, enjoy it, and uh, it's good to see the kids and uh, all the people that come out and it's, it's uh, love having my picture taken with them. And well, we love to have you out here. It is always a blast and just adds to so much. Um, so you've been talking with a lot of kids today? I've been talking with several kids today, and they all have a long list, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on that to fulfill that list. Good. Yeah. Pretty much everybody's been good, right? Every, no naughties. Everybody's been good. Everybody's been good. All the kids are good. Awesome. Not a bad one in the bunch. That's awesome. Well, you know, here at the park, this we have this take time for fun thing. Mm -hmm. Can we? I'm sure this is a question that everybody's dying to know. How does Santa take time for fun? Well, after uh, Christmas, I go to Hawaii for a few weeks, and I sit on the beach. And uh, you can find me in uh, Maui. I'm usually on uh, Kamehameha Beach 1, and uh, I sit there. You can tell I have my hat on. I always take my hat with me. Oh, that's good. 
That, that way they can tell yeah. it's you. Yeah. Yes, that's the way they tell me. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much. You have a great time, and I see you already have a line forming, so okay. I will let you be. Thank you. All right, now I'm sitting here with all of the band, which you will get to hear later, I'm sure, uh, or maybe even before. I'm not sure how this is going to get cut. But anyway, Andy here, he is kind of the band leader here, and he is also he is the leader, my bad, but he is our ultimate person here because he t figures out the music for the band, and often they play at the farm. But again, we have this crazy thing that happened in the first, what is it? The 20, what day was it that the big winter was? 22nd. 22nd, yeah. So things have changed. Anyway, without any further ado, Andy, <laughs> what songs do you play in this year? Well, this is all Christmas music, but it is Christmas music in the style of the German settlers that came over to Schomburg. So nothing Santa Claus. He didn't make it as a scene yet, but I uh, have a lot of... Uh, very religious based songs like um, O Come O Come Emmanuel and uh, In Dulce Jubilo, uh, Silent Night, O Christmas Tree, and things like that. Very good. And you guys sound amazing. I've already gotten compliments that they love, people love coming up and seeing you all first. It really puts them into the, into the spirit. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, do you have anything fun or interesting that you've learned when picking out the music for the band this year? Well, let's see. We do. Let me introduce the the yeah, members yeah, here. Yeah, uh, I'll start off with my wife, who is playing trumpet. She is the second trumpet player, uh, and uh, I'm playing tuba on the opposite end. Then we have Don. Don Anderson, and he, he's uh, the first trumpet player. And then over here we have Roger, Roger Nelson, who is a euphonium or baritone horn player. And then I also think that it's important for everybody to know that you all are volunteers. Absolutely. Yep. I keep asking them to increase my pay, but they said we did. But zero <laughs> times zero, you know. <laughs> no, we do it for the love of it. And you really do set the mood. It's a wonderful thing. Without the music, it's kind of flat. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually pretty sharp today in the cold. <laughs> it is sharp. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, thank you again. Thank you guys very much. Thank you all very much for walking around with us today and seeing all the neat stuff. Thank you for coming out and uh, enjoying our Christmas in the Valley this year. Um, yes, it's been a bit modified, but here at the farm and the Nature Center and Spring Valley as a whole, um, we're nothing if not resourceful. <laughs> Merry Christmas. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs>